If you're new to my channel, you may have noticed not only do I cover a lot on bicycles, I also cover generators and a few lifestyle related items. I think they all kind of merge together. Seems that people that like bicycles also have an affinity for generators and vice versa. I don't know if that's because of the recreation or fitness lifestyle or just trying to stay in shape and be prepared for things. Whatever the case, today we're going to be looking at a generator and this is the Predator 3500 watt portable inverter generator from Harbor Freight. Kind of a step up for Harbor Freight. Brand new design, it's only been out about a month. $699, $649 with a coupon. Let's get it unboxed and see if it's actually worth the money. Unbox, but before we get into the detailed feature overview, I did want to mention that if you came to see this thing run, that will not be in this video, that will be in a separate video. So take note of that. Also, the box is something a lot of people like to see, so I thought I'd show it to you really quick. Basic details, important ones, 57 decibels, very quiet. Runs 11 hours on a quarter load, very impressive. And it has an electric start. All the other sides of the box are the same, contain the same information with the exception of the back here, which shows detailed specifications. And you see that it is a 212 cc four stroke overhead valve engine that is six horsepower and the fuel tank capacity is 2.6 gallons. Harbor Freight stepped up their game a bit with this generator as far as included accessories go. We get a nice funnel for putting oil in the generator. Get this included RV adapter that it mentioned on the box. Of course, you get an instruction manual. Looks like your typical Harbor Freight instruction manual. You get this little fabric pouch. Let's see what is in this thing. Looks like we get a screwdriver, a spark plug wrench. Wow, that is a long spark plug wrench that thing must be way down in there and this is our dc connector for battery charging we'll start up top and before i even get into that i'll mention that this is not your typical harbor freight quality plastic it feels very solid and very decently made for the money we even have a rubber surrounding here a little spill tray for the gasoline you have your traditional tags and warnings 10 percent ethanol 25 amp max start instructions kind of all over the generator does have these metal handles and the generator is very well balanced. So between the front and the rear, if you have two people, it'd be very easy to carry with an equal load. Underneath the gas cap, have a chain. So you won't lose your gas cap and you also have a red fill level indicator inside the tank. The upper right hand side, there is a dial on the control panel. This is the choke. Below that is the starter. Remember, this has an electric start, battery included. Press a button to start it. This is the electronic speed control, basically an eco throttle. You can turn it on to reduce engine RPMs and run it in a quiet mode if you're not running a heavy load. A DC outlet with eight amps output comes with a plug-in with alligator clips so you can charge a battery. This was a pleasant surprise. When I found out they were releasing this generator, I didn't know it had a display screen. This display screen not only has indicator lights for low oil overload, this output light will turn on once the generator has started up enough to build up an output level that's safe to plug things to. But this screen will also display information like voltage, amps, wattage, and it's an integrated hour meter. Very nice. Working our way to the left, we have two 120 volt AC outlets with a dedicated reset switch. Beside that, 120 volt AC 30 amp outlet. I believe this is what you would plug that RV adapter that was included into. It's a reset switch for that outlet. The two outlets beside that, rubber covers over them, positive and negative. And this is for the parallel kit that you can buy. You can run two of these in series and double your output. Below our control panel, we have an access port here that houses the battery. Now remember, this has electric start, so there's a battery included in here. Below that, we'll look at it in just a moment. Below that is a lever where you can lock your front wheels, keep the generator from moving while you're using it. Removing the access cover, foam insulation on the inside. Didn't expect that, nice touch. Also, this battery appears to be larger than I was thinking was gonna be in the unit has a retention strap here. Here you can see the positive lead. Let me get the battery out. We'll take a look at it, see what size it is. Removing the battery, slightly more difficult than I anticipated because pleasantly underneath the battery, there is an anti-vibration silicone pad. 
It acts like one of those silicone pads you buy for your car dash to keep your phone from sliding off. So you can imagine how hard it is to get the battery out from that. Also a strip of it over here on the right. Positive and negative battery cables. In boots, very good quality compared to what you normally see on a Harbor Freight product. I mean, this looks like something you would see on, say, a Honda. Very good quality there. The battery itself, 12 volt, 6 amp hour battery. Again, sits in its own compartment. On the left side of the generator, your gas cap is up here. Remember, you have a rubber mat that surrounds the gas cap. See, it acts as a chute if you overfill to run gasoline off and away from the generator rather than inside. Important that they have vinyl graphics because if your gas ran down and it was regular graphic, it would ruin it or make it peel off. This should be pretty safe. Looks like this entire side cover comes off with these two screw holes. You do have an access port to fill your oil. I partially unscrewed it here. Should be able to get to it easy. Wow, look how thick the foam is on that. Down in there, you can't see it on the camera, but I can see the dipstick. I believe I'm gonna remove this entire cover though so we can get a look at the engine. The side cover, another shock. Not only has this got padding insulation on the side, but you have tabs in three places as well as three on the bottom that correspond to tab bolt, or excuse me, tab holes that have rubber grommets in them to cut down on vibration. Did get a little bit of a Harbor Freight smell when I opened this up. So some of the rubber quality I'm assuming like here and here, not quite as good as on the outside of the unit, but overall very compact engine, seems to be very well designed. Let me see if I can get a better angle so you can see the dipstick and maybe get a peek at the inverter on the inside. There's not really much to see inside the engine compartment because this is a ducted and shrouded design. That's just the nature of these enclosed generators. But what we can see is a round metal gas tank. And yes, I did say metal. A curious choice because in the instructions they go out of their way to mention not to use gas from a metal gas can, only from plastic. Yet they include a metal gas tank. My guess is that is because it is only about an inch away from this 212 cc air-cooled engine. Going to generate a lot of heat. Probably why they went with metal there. We do have a spark plug cap here. Our valve cover with OHV for overhead valve. It's not really much else you can see. The carbs back there. This is the air box. I believe this is a vacuum canister. These tubes and hoses, all decent quality. Have big beefy supports on both sides of the generator. Can't really see the inverter or anything, just a few wires, coils up front. What we can see is this dipstick here, and you see it's very far back in there, so that's why they included that long funnel with the kit. And I was shocked to see this. This is a rubber anti-vibration motor mount. There's one back here and there's one up front, so I assume that there's two on the other side. Very nice, keep that engine nice and smooth and stable. Now let's look at the other side and see if that's just a blocked off cover or if there's some access ports on that side. Turn the generator to get to the other side. This was towards the camera, so we may as well look at the back really quick. Just a cover with six screws and then a large muffler with a spark arrestor on it. Also wanted to mention these wheels. They're small, but they have kind of a rubbery feel to them. Very safe to roll around, even on this linoleum floor. This is 100 pounds. The right hand side does not have an access cover, at least the red part here. We do have a pull start and the housing around this pull start, it's metal. Magnet sticks to it. Didn't expect that. Now again, no access cover here, but what we do have are three bolts on the bottom. It looks like this entire side can come off with just three bolts. That's going to be it for the feature overview on this Predator 3500 inverter generator from Harbor Freight, item number 63584. In the next generator video, we'll get this prepped and fire it up and see how it runs. Thanks for watching and have a great day.